Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Thangam and uh, I'm a gastroenterologist. I'm faculty at the Medical College of uh, Wisconsin and my area of interest is something called uh, cyclic vomiting syndrome and we have a poster here on it. Uh, cyclic vomiting syndrome or CVS is, is kind of the new kid in the block I guess but unfortunately it's, uh, it's often unrecognized and um, we've done some work on this. Essentially CVS is a chronic GI disorder. It's characterized by recurrent stereotypic episodes of vomiting um, and people are actually normal in between. Um, it's uh, frequently uh, undiagnosed. It's more often seen in uh, Caucasians and we did a retrospective study of one of the largest uh, cohort of patients in the U.S. so far. So we have, uh, I have around 150 patients in my database in uh, MCW and um, there are uh, various uh, clinical characteristics of these patients. Like I said, uh, many of them seem to actually present after 18 years of age. Uh, it is somewhat similar um, or analogous to migraines, and there's a connection with uh, connection with migraines. And uh, people often visit the ED uh, frequently. There's an increased rate of hospitalizations, and uh, there's a marked uh, delay in diagnosis. As uh, you know, you can tell in my poster. Uh, the median delay in diagnosis is about four years. So uh, they often puke, they go to the ER, and they're actually told they have their 10th bout of gastroenteritis. Um, and unfortunately, another unfortunate uh, problem with this condition is that about 20% of these patients actually undergo iatrogenic procedures. Um, and I'm not talking about uh, just simple endoscopic procedures. I'm, I'm talking about surgery where they lose their gallbladders, they have uh, either a cholecystectomy or an appendectomy uh, for their symptoms and obviously their symptoms don't improve with it. Um, the, the good news is that uh, tricyclic antidepressants, they say old is gold and um, tricyclic antidepressants actually work pretty well for this condition um, and about uh, anywhere between 60 to 75 percent of these patients respond to medications which are actually very inexpensive and so um, really the goal of my research is a to highlight this condition and uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, new research going on and uh, in terms of the pathogenesis and diagnosis of this condition and even possibly a genetic basis uh, for this uh, disorder so um, yeah, we do have. Uh, I do work with uh, CVSA, which is a non which is a, a voluntary organization, um, and it's a nonprofit group. And they do have a booth here, so uh, I encourage you to visit their uh, booth and also uh, the website if you want more information. Thank you.